on the dividend news guys we do have bank of america which hiked its dividend by 9.1 percent to 24 cents per share quarterly uh, so congrats to all the bank of america shareholders the other one we do have is bank ozk hiked its dividend by another 2.9 percent to 36 cents uh, per share quarterly uh, this one i did think you guys would probably find interesting uh, so we do have uh, last week many u.s banks announced dividend hikes following the latest fed stress test so jp morgan did announce a five percent increase goldman sachs did announce a 10 percent increase morgan stanley did announce a 9.7 percent uh, increase and then wells fargo plans to do a 16.7 percent increase which again remember guys they did cut their dividends so it's not really a raise if you've been holding them for a while uh city group did plan a nine a 3.9 percent uh increase uh dividend hike and the last one here guys that i figured you guys might find interesting uh the biggest u.s dividend hike so far announced in 2023 you guys can pause it but uh these are the i guess the biggest dividend hikes so far for this year what's up everybody this is antonio here to bring you episode 194 of the portfolio update you guys already know it's sunday it's time to go over the portfolio what we bought what we sold what options we traded which ones we had to manage and then uh, as well how much we grew the dividend snowball because remember guys we come back every single sunday we're trying to aim this to uh $325 we've already surpassed it guys that's actually our major goal and that is actually what I want to cover in this video uh, we do uh, come back every single Sunday remember guys we dollar cost average into the portfolio no matter what's going on we're trying to convert this active income into passive income so that eventually we can actually live off of this so by the end of the video we should see this way higher because remember we add a hundred dollars minimum uh, but you'll see here on the annual dividends here you'll see that uh, we are at $1,826.16. Uh, this was actually including the month of June, which was massive, guys. This is pretty great. I think by next quarter, or I guess by the next month or two, we should hopefully surpass 2020. We'll see what happens on the quarterly, guys. The biggest quarterly dividend uh, month that we've ever received, which was $1,006.81. Very, very awesome to see. We'll see what Q3 of 2023 does. And then if you guys look at the options premium here uh, for July so far, we're at $160.09. Pretty awesome to see. If I show you as well here, options side, uh, you'll see that so far we're at $5,030.09 in the first, I guess, first six, almost seven months. And then uh, remember, guys, we do have goals that keep us focused which honestly we can actually look at the first one is that's reached uh, 20,000 subscribers so if you're new to the channel consider subscribing with that notification definitely help me uh, reach that goal and as well drop a big thumbs up uh, goal number two guys which is make $325 per month on average we can actually uh, mark this one out which honestly let's go ahead and do that now because we achieved it it's very awesome to see we still got about six more months or so to go we'll see what we end up aiming by the end of the year let me know in the comment section what you guys think we should achieve should we go ahead and aim for 375 dollars per month on average or just go ahead and go big and see 400 dollars to see how far how far we can get because anything over 325 is just like a cherry on top and then uh, you'll see goal number three here guys is to reach $118,000 invested of my own money we're currently at $114,301 so we have a little bit more to go and then uh, the other one is uh, goal number four which is dollar cost average $100 at a minimum no matter what's going on so I'll show you guys in the portfolio uh, goal number five is to drip an additional $100 of my own money into a company that is going ex dividend date. I actually did that this week with JP Morgan, so I'll show you guys shortly when we jump over to the Schwab account. Goal number six is to uh, actually make about $400 per month on selling options. We've actually already achieved this goal technically because we've already made over $5,000 in uh, premium. And then goal number seven, which is one we added lately in the past month or so, was to try to get my SCHD position to a thousand shares. We'll see how long that takes, guys. Very, very awesome to see here on the dividend payout. You'll see that we do actually have um, Altria coming up with a dividend. 
and then uh, JP Morgan on the 31st of July. Then we are actually going to start August, which will be very, very awesome. And then we'll start September, which I'm definitely looking forward to because that is when most of my positions actually pay out the dividends. Uh, but uh, anyways, guys, uh, let's go ahead and actually get started with the portfolio update. So you'll see here that we are at $205,792.96. Uh, uh, we actually are down on the day changed about $591.93, which is about 0.29% in the red. On the two year change is about $17,682.72, which is a 9.40%. Uh, so we'll see where this goes. If I show you guys here the positions, you'll see that we are actually about 83.8% in the green, which is about $89,548.86. Uh, cash balance, we have about $9,385.37. Uh, position wise, we are still having around 200 shares of Apple. We do have two covered calls that expire on the September 15th. Uh, we're gonna have to manage these, these are in the money. Uh, then we have JP Morgan, which uh, they do have earnings on Friday. So we'll see how that plays out. We're kind of in the money on the covered calls. Well, I guess not technically right now, but with earnings coming up, they could spike up or down. We'll see what happens with this one. We still have till maybe what, one more, two more weeks or so on this and then we have altria which i think we are in the money on this one we'll manage this one we'll see what happens microsoft we actually ended up rolling it out all the way to about october 20th i went up about five dollars in my covered calls and uh, we'll see how this one plays out if uh, we do get a nice pullback i'll probably do a buy to close and then roll up some uh, nvidia here we do have a uh, covered call as well which we're super in the money on this one we're just trying to collect some premium and hopefully we can get an nvidia pullback and uh, try not avoid a taxable event here uh, most likely my shares will get taken away but uh, i'm trying to push that out a little further uh, but you'll see that we have these other positions that will eventually get to 100 shares uh, you'll see here that we do have about 681 shares of SCHD very very awesome which is roughly around $49,000 invested getting close to about $50,000 and then you'll see we do have some cash cured puts on SCHD that expire on the 21st of July we'll see if we do get assigned 100 shares I guess total of 200 shares that would be pretty awesome if we do if not we'll just keep the premium and that'll be very very awesome to see because I'll be doing that again the following month on the performance here guys you'll see that we are up by $10,173.52 in the green here so pretty cool to see this going up remember in October we were down here and uh, again this is a 5.06 percent return in the green pretty cool to see if we look here on the investment income we are at projected to make about four thousand ninety eight dollars and seven cents in uh, dividends uh, averaging about three hundred forty one dollars and fifty one cents uh, you'll see August we're projected to make about a hundred and eight dollars and seven cents on September, $647.65, and then October, $268.80. Pretty, pretty cool to see. It is going to continue to increase every single week. On the history side, guys, we do have it to start from the 20, I guess the 3rd of July, all the way till the 8th of um, July here. And then if we scroll to the very bottom, not much of activities here, but on the third, guys, we did buy $100 worth of JP Morgan to meet the X dividend date. It's about 0.68 shares. And then uh, we actually got the drips from U Union Pacific and NVIDIA, which dripped and bought more shares. On the fifth, I deposited $200, $100 to buy the $100, I guess $200 and $100 to buy JP Morgan and the $100 to dollar cost average into the portfolio, no matter what. I actually used the extra 100 to buy Union Pacific. We bought about 0.49 shares, uh, about half a share basically. And then I actually ended up having to roll my uh, Microsoft one. So I did a buy to close. I ended up buying my covered call, which was at 275 strike price. Uh, they expired on the 7th of July. We paid about $6,390. And then I ended up doing a sell to open. Uh, I actually moved up by $5, so $280. And uh, this one does expire till October 20th, 2023. Uh, they paid us $6,537. So we made a pretty good uh, price here, but uh, that is, we're actually rolling it out for a couple months. So that's only the downside there. 
uh, the last one here by to close we did roll a nvidia covered call here so 160 that expired on the 7th of july paid about twenty six thousand eight hundred eighty three dollars and sixty six cents and then we did a sell to open uh, 160 same strike price just out for one week uh, they paid us twenty six thousand eight hundred ninety seven dollars so we made maybe about fourteen dollars or so and uh, let's go ahead and click on the calculate dividends see if we made any dividends this week guys so i'll go ahead and click on it looks like we made zero passive income this week guys but that is okay because overall on average we are growing and growing every single week which we'll actually see in a little bit if we actually jump over here to the dashboard i already have this i uh, made a copy of it and then uh, if we look over here to the dividend payout we can actually kick this off and see if any new companies announced uh, dividends within our portfolio so go to portfolio tools get latest dividends and uh, give it a second or two this will get wiped and uh, it'll go out and see if we any new companies uh, but also the other thing i do want to mention i have these scripts available for free all i ask in return is that you're subscribed with that notification and i uh, drop a big thumbs up on the video definitely goes a long way but again we do have altria pain on the 10th of july so about maybe what monday or tuesday uh, so we'll get a nice juicy dividend payment from there if we look here guys uh, on the actual options premium just quickly uh, you'll see that on july we are so far 160 dollars and 90 cents which is a pretty good start but a lot of my uh, positions here are currently in the money so we might not make a lot of money in the past last couple months but that is okay because we reached our goal mostly uh, but the first week 160 dollars and nine cents and then totaling coming out to about five thousand thirty dollars and nine cents definitely surpassing last year's of three thousand five hundred forty four dollars and fifty one cents if we actually go here to the settings guys we can go ahead and get rid of this and uh, then we can jump over to empower grab the latest version of our portfolio that contains the purchases we made uh, so i'll see you guys over there so all right guys so we're on uh empower on my schwab account you see this green button click on that uh, that actually copies the content of my portfolio into the clipboard which then we can jump back over pay special values only and uh, we are ready to go if we go here to holdings this is the old uh, snapshot from last week but uh, if we go ahead and go to portfolio tools update portfolio holdings once you click on that this will get wiped and it'll parse out the new stuff so uh, we can see how much we grew the dividend snowball there we go it's calculating we can jump over here to the dashboard and see how much we uh, ended up growing it so you'll see on the dividend yield two percent compared to 1.99 percent from last week on the yield on cost we actually went up by 3.85 percent compared to 3.82 percent on the yearly we're projected to make about four thousand one hundred fifteen dollars 84 cents here and uh yeah that's about five dollar increase on the year on the monthly we're making about 342 dollars 99 cents uh, compared to 342 dollars 52 cents on the week 79 dollars 15 cents so we went up about maybe what 11 cents there on the day we went up about two pennies so 11 dollars 28 cents on the hourly we're still making 47 cents every single hour guys and then on the hourly work wage this is if our portfolio was to go work a 40 hour work week they would get paid roughly about a dollar 98 cents every single hour we're going to eventually try to get this to minimum wage we'll see how long that get how long that takes actually but uh yeah guys this is actually all i have for you guys don't forget to subscribe with that final bell notification help me reach that 20,000 subscriber mark and uh drop a big thumbs up definitely goes a long way and if you stuck all the way all the way to their end let me know by dropping a hashtag milestone because we actually reached a huge milestone uh we actually surpassed the 325 dollars and we're already roughly making about 343 dollars per month on average in dividends guys very very awesome to see let me know in the comment section uh what the goal for the rest of the year we should try to achieve we'll see if we can reach it if not we already achieved the main milestone but uh yeah guys take care stay safe out there bye guys